And back at the book segment tonight, did you see that? We begin with a March 17th episode of The Family Guy. I'm Bob Costas, here with Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? Damn phone's busted. Maybe I dialed wrong. Now, that didn't actually happen on television. That was doctored by some online pinheads. They distorted that clip from the family guy to which now pulling everything off the net. Here to explain further, Julia Huddy. What do we... I mean, I mean, you know, you know the way people are. People are crazy. That, that was so just, I mean, it's so ironic that that aired March 17th. Now, how could somebody two separate, do that? Two separate storylines in one show. Okay. How could somebody do that? Because there are sick people no, out no, no, there. No, 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 <laughs> no. You, ha you have this on St. Patrick's Day, this Family Guy episode, it mm -hmm. runs. It's about the Boston Marathon, it's supposed to be Bob Costit, bop, 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 bop. Right. Okay, that's eerie enough. But then they go in, these internet geeks, and they and they twisted it around. That's not what people saw on TV. No, no, no. They, they took two separate storylines in the same show. They spliced it they together. They spliced it together. And yeah, and it, and it does look very convincing. Now, he is where you can see there. But how do you do that? How guard. can you do that? I, I, you just, like, te technically, yeah, te you do that? I guess you, I don't know, I'm not good at that, I'm, an, I'm not so they, happy they, with that, but they, they just, they, just they, like, they took it, they, and then they put it up on it. Again. I mean, you can do anything online, you can take anything and, and splice it down, you should, you know that, I mean, you just, it's easy to do that, it's just that it what was so. What kind of a person would do that, you know, I mean, What kind of a person said? would blow up the Boston Marathon and kill innocent people? Yeah, I know, but we children. know, but that's a different situation, um, trying to, you know, Capitalize in this way, uh, it just all right. I think we live, in a, we live in a very disturbing easy world. Easy of an opportunity for some sickos out there all to right. take. Now you think that's disturbing? Thing. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Governor Deval Patrick, uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, having a press conference. Roll we'll tape. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties from all homeland security by sticking a hand down on the on the street? No. Next question. Dan, good job getting your question into the governors and others. No doubt you shut down their press conferences. What can you tell us about behind the scenes, Dan Bedondi? Um, since I asked the question, I you know, asked it again, and they wouldn't answer the question. And I got the look of death from every federal agency that was there, the, uh, the government officials, everything. And I knew right away I had to grab my camera quick, you know, as soon as the press conference is over, because uh, the woman gets right on the stage, oh, this is the end of the press conference, and... Everybody you know, gives me the look of death, so I grab my equipment and I jet it right out of there. Right, now, that's not a joke. Um, no. th that's mm -hmm. a real talk show host and this idiot in a car. And that they're saying is it's an inside job. The U.S. government bombed the people in Boston. Right? The talk show host is Alex Jones. He's a, he's a conspiracy theorist. He's kind of like the, the guru, the, the, you know, the king of the conspiracy theorists. Mm -hmm. And he's been on the air since day one saying that this is a job of the FBI. It's a false flag job. You heard the reporter question yeah. as to whether it was a false flag job, meaning, you know, is this just, you know, they're twisting it around to make it look like it's something else, another entity, but really is the government. It's so sick, and this guy's an idiot, and, you know, the people at the press conference totally ignored it. I, feel, I think that they this, didn't throw him out. I think that this uh, internet stuff with this access now that mm -hmm. people have has made more crazy people. Because people who are borderline crazy now go in there and become well, crazy. You can, get, you can get your crazy opinion heard. And this right. guy's on 60, 60 stations, AM, FM, he's on the internet, and he's got a lot of followers, he's got a big website. Yeah. He's considered legit among the crazies. There you go. Juliet Huddy, everybody, thank you. You're welcome. Factor tip of the day, what Americans watched on television immediately after...